Good morning, Chair Rieger and Vice Chair Lair and Bishop and esteemed members of the Judiciary Committee. I appreciate your leadership on this issue because the reality we face as a nation is one of ever-increasing cyber warfare and seemingly ceaseless intense variations of weaponized techno-economic competition. Both sides of the aisle in Washington understand that our rivals are playing the long game and they're playing for keeps, a game of four-dimensional military, economic, diplomatic, and cultural chess. And technology is at its core. And TikTok is one of China's most potent weapons. For the purpose of this critical legislation, allow me to emphasize three critical points. First, TikTok is controlled by the Chinese government from a legal, structural, governance, and leadership perspective. Its 1% golden share stake even guarantees that TikTok's algorithm can be manipulated by the Communist Party. Additionally, TikTok is bound by China's National Intelligence Act, which requires every Chinese company, state-owned or otherwise, and every Chinese citizen to turn over any data or any information to the Chinese government upon request or suffer the consequences. And that is why, no matter how strenuously TikTok CEO pleads autonomy from the government, he and his Chinese employees have no choice in the matter. Second, TikTok is programmed to be weaponized. It tracks users' keystrokes to capture personal data, passwords, uh, and things like credit card information and location. In fact, the Chinese Communist Party has used TikTok to track reporters in attempts to intimidate them. It also preys on children. It's disguised as candy, but it's really cocaine. I won't let my 11-year-old twi year twins near it. And that's why the app is not available in China. Instead, the TikTok algorithm there serves up content for children's STEM education. To make matters worse, it's not just about you or your children. It's about everybody you digitally interact with. Your friends, your family, your business associates, everyone in your life. TikTok is like a weaponized virus. The TikTok virus can infect everybody around you. And that's why the only vaccine is a total ban. Third, China uses TikTok as a powerful information tool. It serves up pro-Beijing propaganda and censors any criticism of the party. And that's why posts on something like Tiananmen Square or democracy in Taiwan seem to just magically disappear. Finally, the Chinese government and TikTok are spending millions and millions of dollars on the best lobbyists and lawyers money can buy. And that's being done in Washington, D.C. and states like California to prevent any kind of a ban. And that is why the urgency of this legislation is so critical. Here in Montana, you're all too familiar with the Chinese government's tactics of spying on Americans. We owe the residents of Billings a debt of gratitude for spotting the Chinese surveillance balloon. Now just think, if the government of China can weaponize a balloon, imagine what they can do with 150 million U.S. TikTok users at its mercy. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. Unfortunately, I'm unable to stay for the full proceeding due to a previous commitment. However, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you.